technically Katie. Hi, I'm Katie Linendahl, and why, it's my unbirthday too. This episode, well, it's all themed out, and you might guess the theme. It is all things Disney. Yes, I know a lot of you are gonna be excited about that. And I have to say, I will be sneaking in as many Alice in Wonderland references as possible, because I made my onstage debut in the seventh grade at Westlake Middle School in Erie, Pennsylvania, as Tweedledee in Alice in Wonderland. I'm very proud of that. And I think we all have our Disney stories. And coming off of the heels of taking my niece and nephew to Disney World, I thought, hey, why not highlight some Disney awesomeness? And that's what episode three is all about. First things first, we go around the world in cakey days and visit the amazing Jilly Cakes Bakery where she is cooking up some pretty awesome retro Minnie Mouse cupcakes. And then we meet up with my friend and Disney illustrator, Ashley Taylor, who has a signing at Disney Springs. And last but certainly not least, one of my favorite technologies in all of the Disney parks is the projection mapping, which brings Cinderella's castle to life. The Technically Katie Tea Party, it starts right now. You know we always like to go around the world in Katie days, but this week we change it up a little bit and we go around the world in cakey days to visit Jilly Cakes. Now Jilly was a season six Cupcake Wars winner, but that's just one of her many accolades. Check out what she's got cooking. Today we are in Orlando, Florida to meet with Jilly Hopke, world-renowned baker of Jilly Cakes and she is creating something extra special for me. She is creating a fried churro cupcake and also a jelly donut cupcake that it too is fried. Couldn't be more excited for this because guess what? There's also a little twist. These are gonna be decorated vintage Minnie Mouse style. I would say if I could bottle the smells in here, I'd never have to work another day in my life. Like I could just live off the revenue of the perfumes of the bakery. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, I want my own perfume that's a uh, fresh electronic smell. You can come up with that, <laughs> which is bakery aroma. Yeah, so we are making half churro, half jelly donut. And um, basically to fry cupcakes, it's exactly what you think it is. So you take the cupcake after it's already been baked, cooled, and we're gonna fry it in oil and then dip it in these various toppings and things. There you go. It's like oh. a churro, fresh yeah. out of the theme park. So we made a glaze um, just with some powdered sugar, uh, milk, and vanilla bean paste. And it's like the same same process as the churro. You gotta twirl it a little bit more so it sticks. Um, we do like a little double dip. And then you get that like glazed oh. donut business going on. Yes. You have to kind of make whole, and then you're gonna squeeze as you need it. So you want like a lot of filling. You don't want like a sad little. Yeah, no, the one thing is true. I hate getting cheaped out on filling or icing. Like I'll it. pay extra. <laughs> I just want a generous <laughs> topping. So we're gonna do just like a little tower for these because okay. we're gonna put the Minnie Mouse skirt around the outside. Um, put the rounded side down. Um, and then you just do like the little U motion to make a skirt. I like the vintage direction because it's the classic is so good, well, but it's so obvious. Yeah, in a way. and like I said to you, I was like, everyone has seen a, a cupcake with the ears and a bow. Like that's yep. not anything new or exciting. Um, I figured, let's Mix do it something different. Is this not the cutest cupcake so cute. ever? And I love that it's a vintage throwback. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! What that's are so they? Cool. Vintage oh, Minnie so Mouse cool. too. How did I not think of that? Oh, wow. wow. Look at that. With a little flower too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yummy, huh? What do you mm. think? It's good. They're really good. Total success here in Disney and super, super yummy. Thank you, Jilly. Bye. Bye. Next up, we meet up with my friend and Disney illustrator, Ashley Taylor. And as you can imagine, being an illustrator for Disney is an extremely coveted role. Now all of her pieces, they cover so many different Disney favorites. And when she told me how she draws each one of them, I was pretty blown away. Have a look. She totally knows people. Hello from Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And how crazy is this? My Disney vacation coincided with Ashley Taylor's amazing celebrity sightings. We're gonna go have a peek, come with. Okay, so this is so exciting. Yes, you I have know. 
yet another signing here in Disney World. It's so exciting. This is a coveted position I can't to be able to illustrate this right now. I can't believe it. Were you always a Disney fan, like genuinely? Oh, always. Really? The biggest Disney fan. Were you always drawing when you were little, oh. like the characters? We couldn't afford to go to Disney World all the time when I was little. We only went once, and I would send Disney drawings of rides and attractions because I <laughs> love Disney so much, and I just wanted to design or create with them in any way that I could think of. So you're using Adobe Illustrator or InDesign? It's all Adobe Illustrator. And how fast yes. do you typically do one design? Um, I did all four of these pieces in about a weekend. Are you serious? Because when you're working with the big studios, you have to have a really quick turnaround time for production. Oh my word. And that includes, like, I mean, do you start off a sketch? On I usually will start. Are you using with a pen and Apple Pencil? No. This is another unique thing that I think I'm one of the few artists that do this. I actually have a MacBook Pro and I draw with my finger on the trackpad. Okay. So it's like adult finger painting. I'm sorry, but this is really nerdy. She just blew my mind. <laughs> like that is un... Do you know anyone else I have all not that seen anyone any? else that's, that's doing it. I'm sure people do. But uh, a lot of the Disney artists will use a stylus if yeah. they're a digital artist. But I've always... It's just always come so natural to me. What in the world is next? Because you always have so many exciting projects going on. I have and a lot of exciting things on the horizon. I knew it. I knew it. Um, the one thing I can talk about right now is um, you might see me at D23. Everything else is just going to be a big surprise for a lot of people. But I'm so excited to share more artwork and more products with all of you. People can find you at Ashley24Taylor on Instagram and Twitter. Awesome stuff. Stay tuned. Projection mapping technology has been used in the Magic Kingdom for several years. And if you have seen it, you'll probably agree that it is pretty darn engaging and dynamic. If you haven't seen it, have a look. Magic Kingdom without talking about snacks. And I want to hear from you. What are your favorites? Mickey pretzel, the Dole Whip, the churros. Talk to me because they even have shirts now that say, I came for the snacks. One of the best things in Disney. Episode number three is almost a wrap, but I would be remiss to not say that this episode was sponsored by the friendship of Ashley Eckstein. <laughs> and let me explain that. Ashley is not only a massive Disney fan, but she also connected me with Ashley Taylor and Jilly, who you saw in this episode. And I'm wearing one of her dresses from her universe, an Alice in Wonderland dress. So just a shout out and a thank you to Ashley Eckstein. And with that, we say see you real soon. Episode number three of Technically Katie is in the books. And make sure to follow me at Katie Linendahl on social. Stay tuned and ciao skis.